intersectionality, a way of understanding a person's social political identities, social groupings of race, class, gender, society built on discrimination and privilege. Thankfully, a place is immune. The counselling room. Counselling is compassion and empathy. Pluralism is collaboration. And therapists are creating safe spaces for every unique soul. But are you aware of the unconscious bias you hold? If not, then congregant, you can't be. In counselling, authenticity is key. Plastering our unconscious bias with well-intentioned statements of acceptance, I am open-minded and I am non-judgmental. These blanket replies hide the ugly parts of us, the parts we hide from ourselves. Growing up, living with patriarchy, racism, ableism, homophobia and hate. Breathing in these toxins since we were yay. No one is immune. You say all lives matter and there's no judgment here. Yet when we stand, are you near? This is a safe space, no judgment here. Yet when we fall, do you care? And more importantly, can you bear to see the privilege you hold as we die here? The words we heard, the faces we saw, the beliefs passed down, values intertwined all manifest through our spine. In our hearts, what do they hold? Do we think that person looks too old to wear that? Unconscious thoughts out with our control, for example, those men with beards looking tanned running towards me. What did I learn? What was I told? What beliefs do I hold that are so old and deep that I can't see the wood from the trees? I can't see the poison and toxicity. It's hidden or excused or denied. I don't know the bias that I hold. Unconscious bias rages on. What stereotypes come to mind? Muslim, non-binary, Jewish. What stereotypes come to mind? Black, Asian, female. What stereotypes come to mind? Disability, lesbian, fat. Stereotypes are fine, they're fine. We can't possibly process so much information. Plus, they're just mine. Yes, yeah, stereotypes are fine. In my mind, not on my tongue. Our minds need shortcuts. It's in my mind, not on my tongue. If I look, look through that jihadi window, will I find that it's not just my mind? Unconscious bias rages on. Well, unless our story is told. Toxic masculinity, racism, ageism, it's in the air and it's not fair and I do care but these stereotypes are fine. This is from my unconscious mind. But wait, are they fine when what comes to mind are negative images, creating judgments on people's characters, ability shaped by gender, race, ethnicity, social class or religion, a staunch belief born from ignorance, unwavering ideals that refuse to change. If you believe gay marriage is a sin, what does this mean for the counselling room you sit in? Social hierarchy of attractiveness? What does this narrative mean for the counselling room you sit in? Counter transferring, simmering away, what unresolved conflict are you keeping at bay? But now it's in the counselling room. You're in my group, you look like me, you sound like me, and I feel safe. As I know you, you're like me, you're me. Not like them, those who don't look like me or act like me, they're not in my group. They're the other. I do not feel safe and I can't relate. Black lives matter. Wait, sorry, all lives matter. Now. Now I can relate. Do you know what it's like to participate in a world not made for you? Of course I do. Well, I can imagine. I'm a pluralistic counsellor, ethical, fair, compassionate, and I deeply, deeply care. It's my job not to see colour or race or sexuality or gender. But then I don't see you. I don't see my client. Then relational depth will never be met. Come on, turn yourself inside out. What do you see? Ask yourself, what kind of counsellor do you want to be? Unconscious bias causes conscious pain. Now counsellors all rise, challenge your own prejudice, lean into the discomfort, feel the fear, identify the poison, unlearn it, acknowledge your power and privilege, own it and use it.